Hi, I'm Cody Gardner from Cincinnati, Ohio. 23 years old, I'm the owner and driver of the number 46 CGM 410 non-wing sprint car. Um, my racing background starts all the way back with my grandfather who um, started racing cars when he got out of World War II. Um, he ran all around the area, stock cars from multiple different people. Um, got my dad and aunt into go-karts when they were in their teens. Um, my father then went on to race sprint cars in the late 80s. Um, he also owned a uh, go-kart shop, Apco Racing, which he still owns today. Um, so I was basically born into racing. I didn't really have a, a choice. I was at the racetrack you know, the week I was born. Um, got an early start at four years old at a dirt track my dad had um, built, owned and operated for many years here in Middletown, Ohio. Um, when I was five years old, I won the first ever kid kart nationals at South Bend Raceway Park. Um, went on to, when I was about 11 or 12 years old, I got picked up by Cody racing out of Spencerport, New York. Um, raced on their factory team all around the country. Um, in the mid-2000s, I parted ways with them and went back racing with my dad. Um, won a couple championships. Um, drove some, some tag stuff all over the country um, for a guy by the name of Dan Stemfley. Um, past couple years I've been running for Dan and then running the UAS outlaw circuit on dirt ovals um, for Jeff Lawson. Um, this past year Toby Raffer Motorsports gave me the opportunity to drive one of their focus midgets. Um, had three top tens in my first three starts um, and it's you know and from then on I, I bought my own sprint car team and we're going to go on to run that in 2013. You know, I say my grandpa's probably a big, big hero personally, um, just for the fact that he's the one that got started in this. Uh, 87 years old, um, still comes to the shop six, seven days a week, helps my dad out, works on my stuff, um, and is at every single race I'm at. And as far as a racing hero, I'd probably say Tony Stewart. You know, he got to start in go-karts like most of us. Um, was a guy to beat when he was a kid all around the country. Went on to, you know, run the open wheel stuff. Won the triple crown of USAC, you know, the midgets, sprint cars, and silver crowns all in the same year. You know, he's run the Indy cars, um, you know, the championships of NASCAR, and the fact that he still can come back and run the open wheel sprint cars and stuff like that and win races like he does. Um, he's just a true racer. I, uh, you know, hope to get the opportunity someday that he has. I mean, that's, that's tough to say. I mean, I don't know. I guess it's just my will to win. Um, I show up at every race thinking I'm going to win. There's no doubt when I show up at a race that I'm going to win. I never go into a race thinking, oh, you know, I'm going to, I hope I can get a top five. No, when I show up to the racetrack, there's, I'm going to win everything all day long. I'm going to be the fastest in practice. I'm going to win the heat race, and I'm going to win the feature, and there's nobody there going to beat me. And that's just a mindset that I've set in myself that I feel stronger than anybody else at the racetrack. Yeah, it, it's hard to answer. I, you know, a seasoned veteran, are they going to win more races? Sure. Are they more known by fans? Absolutely. I feel that, you know, with, with me being 23 years old, I'm the next generation of drivers. Um, and with that, you know, up and, coming, up and coming driver, 23 years old, the new generation, I feel like I could be more marketable for your company. Um, you know, hopefully we could create a, create a partnership that lasts a long time that not only helps me grow in racing, but also helps your company grow. You know, obviously to be to race every weekend um, of the year, not have to miss anything. Um, and obviously I'd like to get the Rookie of Year honors at Waynesfield Park and be able to contend for the top ten in points. Um, other than that, I just want to learn as much as I possibly can um, driving-wise and also get a feel for the cars. Okay. Absolutely. Um, Physical preparation, I mean, you don't want to get tired. It's the moment that when you start getting fatigued and tired during the race, you start thinking about it. And when you're thinking about that, you're not thinking about the race and, and stuff you need to do and making your corners. And when you start making the mistakes from, from being tired and thinking about being tired, um, not only can it help you lose a race, but it can also cause a lot of money by destroying your equipment by a bad mistake. If you're ever at Wayne Till Raceway Park this year, or if you see me in any other racetracks, don't be afraid to stop by the pits and say, hey, um, look forward to meeting each and every one of you, um, 
have a great 2013 season, and until next time.